Rachel Carson was one of those pioneers who really influenced the modern environmental or modern conservation movement. Because she had this ability to combine science with just artful storytelling and just hit that nail on the head, she was talking to people in their kitchens. She was bringing a problem home to roost. College 8 has been without a name since 1972, so I decided that it really would be great if the college were named after Rachel Carson. We were just immediately enamored with the idea. It was a jaw dropper. And we just became completely determined to make this happen. When I think of Rachel Carson, the first thing that comes to mind is her most famous work, which was Silent Spring. It was one of the first major publications that talked about how the use of pesticides was detrimental towards the environment and really called out the status quo as being literally poisonous to our society. Rachel Carson is really appropriate because, of course, she's credited with being one of the instigators of the environmental movement. But the other thing is she was a science writer and she was really writing about relationships between science, environment, and society. And the college theme is environment and society. Santa Cruz makes a lot of sense when you think about Rachel Carson in that she was an instigator. And in her time, she was pilloried for it. And, I, and you get that sense from the very first moment I walked into Santa Cruz, I knew this was a school of people who would not accept the status quo, but would use science and amazing communication to always challenge it. She is just like a pillar. I feel she really encapsulates the theme, environment, and society that College 8 tries to instill in their students. I never thought she was such a huge idol, but now that I've come to uh, research her and you know learn more about her she was definitely a great influence and I think she's the perfect fit for her college. That's one of the other things that we have a real passion for is is field work, is hands-on work. We might think we have the solutions when we're sitting in the academic world but we have no idea what they are until we're sitting with the community and listening to the people telling us what they really need and what their pains are. We need people out in the world to actually see what's going on. You know, when you're about ready to give up and just go, what is going on in the world? You talk to some of the students who are so passionate and they're doing work way beyond the level of anything that we ever did when we were in college. The fact that this is the first college that's being named after a woman is creating that space to let prospective students know that there's a space for you if you're a woman and interested in the sciences. This is a place where you can thrive in biology, in conservation, in our effects on our environment. This is the college for you.